right, I'm gonna just run through this little chart real quick. Um, salutations to Lord Ganesh, elephant head, luminous large body, remover of obstacles, open of the way, Lord of auspicious beginnings. Please preside over this little reading. Uh, you dig on saying, illumine the intellect, guide the understanding. Uh, and I'm looking to do this like in less than 10 minutes. Feel me? So, as you can see, Sun is your soul, purpose, moon is mind, Mars is energy, Mercury is intelligence, Venus is love, Jupiter is wisdom, Saturn is transformation, Rahu is endless passions, K2 is spirituality. Houses. One is you, two is money, three is efforts, four is home, five is creativity, six is your work, the state of your health, seven is your filial love, eight is transformation, nine is fortune, ten is our livelihood, work, eleven is friends and opportunities and then 12 is like spirituality expenses i bet so now we put the planets with the area of like sun in the sun. so look 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 wait for that <clears throat> come on come on come on so they got stellium in the second house so a, a lot of their life is going to revolve around the finances and the family you dig what i'm saying and self-esteem and shit like that so son in the second house, second house is family. The purpose revolves around the accumulation of wealth, possessions, and family. Uh, son is in a water sign, so this motherfucker kind of like uh, really got a strong attachment to money and a strong attachment to certain people in the family. Right? Moon is in the second house, so the mind and emotions is once again is linked with possessions, accumulating money, and wealth. You know what I'm saying? It's a money-minded individual, right? Mars is in the 12th house, so the energy is expensive. Like, this person probably, like, lose energy or don't have that much energy and shit like that. So they put their effort towards foreign residents. They put their efforts towards uh, spirituality and shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? Having moon and Scorpio makes you, like, your energy levels ain't shit if you got moon and Scorpio. Moon debilitated, moon is your blood flow, moon is like how your mind work, uh, how fast you move and all of that there. Moon and Scorpio don't give you that much energy. These type of people kind of like, they'll call out the work because they actually are tired as hell. You dig what I'm saying? Where's Mars at? It's in Virgo. So, yeah, probably even true for this individual. You dig what I'm saying? Mercury is intelligence in the third house. This is good. That means this person can communicate very effectively. Uh, you know, they got a lot of curiosity they can pick up. Matter of fact, I know this little nigga. He can draw. He can draw his ass off. Like, at a young age, he was able to draw his ass off. Like, I love his drawings. You think what I'm saying? Sales and marketing. All right, yeah. Venus is passions, desire, enjoyments, art, lust, love, beauty, all that shit. Charm. He got Venus in the first house. Venus in the first house and on sign. This is a great, this is a yoga of a great person. Great does not necessarily mean good in this sense. It just means great. Like, it's motherfucking, the influence of this planet runs very strong in the individual life. You dig what I'm saying? Key characteristics of a Venus yoga is an individual that is beautiful, well formed limbs, attractive personality, attractive physique, um, marital bliss. Venus and Pisces might give like a certain amount of like immaterial happiness. Venus and Libra gives happiness and partnerships, interactions, merge, shit like that. You feel me? It's a little bit of material and a little bit of the intellectual logic. You dig what I'm saying? But ideally, businessman. It is just be a person that's like a businessman. I ain't gonna back because I know myself and then I looked at the charts of other people I do. But like a lot of people I know kind of be having that pimp ho shit going on. You dig what I'm saying? Or like sex worker type shit going on. Not saying my fucker just work sex, but I'm saying the people that I be with, it's like sex and money is not, they not separate. You dig what I'm saying? So this is very favorable. I ain't seen this little nigga in a while. He look like Lil Tyler though. Just to give you an idea what the little guy look like. Venus in the first house, uh, I wonder what school life was done at. Yeah. All right, what up? So Jupiter is expansion. Expansion comes through elder siblings, friends, groups. Wisdom, learning comes through elder siblings, friends, groups. This is 
this is like the fullness of opportunity. So there will never be a time where uh, this person, unless they running like Saturn or some type of Dasha, this person get opportunities. This person gets profit from, you know, learning and stuff like that, right? They get their desires fulfilled to a degree. Now Saturn represents Trent. Okay, Mona and Tara Shada. Saturn represent transformation, service. So uh, Saturn kind of upachaya, so things get better with Saturn. So transformation comes through the finance with the possessions. This person might be like greedy about possessions. Oh my God. So the sense of duty linked to the family. What the fuck? Uh, oh, he mad as shit. So they delays come from finances. It might be some delays in learning, some delays with family and things like that. But oh, Saturn in the second house would say uh, their management of their money gets better over time. Uh, them getting along once again. Moon is Scorpio. Moon is Scorpio. Moon and Scorpio bring issues with the mother. It's like your mother probably don't like you if you got Moon and Scorpio or you don't like your mother. She abandoned you. She might have left you alone. She might have just physically abused She might have mentally and emotionally abused you. If you got like Moon and Capricorn, that's physical abuse and abandonment and shit like that. I bet. Rahu is planning the endless passions, obsessions in the 12th house. So this person just got a desire to, uh, you know, a desire for enlightenment to learn spirituality, a desire to be left alone, and Rahu is foreign places, foreign elements and shit, so they kind of want to be in foreign places. They're going to want to leave and go somewhere else. K2 is spirituality in the sixth house, so this person kind of can detach from work, detach from, you know, their worries and shit like that, where they might have unusual, unusual... Diseases and illnesses and shit like that. The illnesses might be of a psychological, mental, emotional nature. Okay. The life revolves around oneself. It, once again, this nigga got a great person yoga. So the actions that he take in life is to glorify. In a way, it's kind of going like the grace of God is present with him in his life. His actions ideally would look to glorify God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause that. He'll be using a dryer like shit, but I know that I lost their homage that way. He's funny. He's funny. I'm on the second half moment done once they finish and shit, right? Thank you. So, uh, Lord of the Ascendant is in the Ascendant. If the grace of God is in this person's life and then they approach the life, they got the grace of God is with them. You dig what I'm saying? Movable signs or cardinal signs, y'all have a lot more freedom to in your actions to do things. Mutable signs got a little bit of freedom and then a little bit of fixed. And then fixed signs, y'all karmas and actions is kind of like consolidated to like certain areas of life. I know. Finance law is in the 12th house. So a person can expect some losses with their money. You know what I'm saying? They can expect to make money through foreign matters or foreign people, right? Uh, foreign travel and residence. What the fuck? I'm trying to think. There's a little nigga to do. Right. So, third lord is in the house of gains. So, the efforts is linked to making opportunities. This person put forth an effort, then they can make an opportunity. Put, or they might put forth effort to make friends. This little nigga is very friendly. Gets along and relates to others pretty well. Ew, bitch, you just pulled a fucking with you out. Chill out. Full floor Saturn is in the second house. Comfort, peace of mind revolves around money. So if this person money ain't right, they fucked up in the mind. You dig what I'm saying? Or their family, Moon and Scorpio, the family probably creates a little like stress because of Saturn and stuff. Right? Full floor comforts come from ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. Assets bring income. Possessions bring peace of mind. Fifth Lord in the house of finances. Fifth Lord in the house of... He got some on Saturn? Get out, little nigga. Hey, you got more because you're on Saturn. You and your mommy got karma. She real like, kind of don't stand your ass. I don't know. All right, intelligence come from 
No, 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 no. Intelligence and creativity is like with the finances. So this person might spend money to kind of do little fun things. They might this this might be uh, spending money to learn. They might take a, like a course or something. Six Lord and eleventh obstacles are all around the opportunities and friends. Hold on, six to the six is the eleven. It's something critical about this position. I don't know what to call that. I'm just keeping it basic. <coughs> Seven Lord in the twelfth house, that means so you know, this they either their partner be having like other secret affairs, secret levels, or they them sick. See, he got Venus and he got Venus and good sign and kindred, so therefore he probably have the propensity and the over bit in his nature to kind of seek out multiple mates. That's probably what that is. And they go on sign. So, eighth Lord Venus, oh my god, bitch, do we gotta be that loud? You bitch, fuck you talking about? No, who the fuck keep asking that shit? Eighth Lord Venus is in the first house now. Venus is um ascending is like Trine Lord and Kendra Lord. So the eighth house is not necessarily quite as malefic as it would be if that was not the case. You dig what I'm saying? But the person can't expect what eighth house other people's resources, other people's uh investments in them. They can expect support from others in their life. You dig what I'm saying? So that's favorable, right? Uh, but ideally, any suffering and any turbulence that comes in their life is due to them acting in a counterfeit or false kind of manner. You dig what I'm saying? If they act it from their alter ego, then they kind of like, okay, if they being too possessive, if they being like lazy and stubborn, too indulgent, getting their ass kicked. Talking about misfortunes right around the corner, perhaps. Ninth Lord Mercury's in the third house of effort, so Mercury aspect his own sign is a favorable influence. So fortune and faith or the efforts are blessed. Um, uh, the efforts towards learning, developing a skill, blessed. You dig know what I'm saying? Their ability to seal something to you and seal something even in a larger, expansive way, blessed. They can do that, right? Teflo Moon is in the second house. They're known for management of money. Uh, they could be like somebody that just manages money, an accountant, a banker, or just somebody with money, somebody that understands an inheritance and how to like, you know, build uh, the chicken up and accumulate. Right, eleven Lord in the second house too. Opportunities to make money, to get profit from. Uh, Profit and opportunities to make money and stuff like that. Games revolve around family. I don't understand. And learning. 12 hours. Second house is like things you eat, how you look, and shit like that. Oh, yeah. So, so what is that? Profit, 10th house, 11th house, and the second house main. They profit off their face card. This little nigga probably get a face card later on in life and shit like that. Like they probably have a solid little face card. It's like, oh shit, is yeah, you know, you think I could get that? He probably might not even ask and shit like that. He'll probably just get that because it's the eighth house shit. Like other people gonna want to support you in life, right? Twelve little Murgies in the third house at efforts. So spirituality is like a one's efforts. They may face some losses from their efforts. You dig what I'm saying? An interest in the secrets of life and shit like that. A curiosity and an interest towards the spiritual and liberating and enlightening parts of life and shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? So overall, look, themes. Moon and Jayasta is the eldest, the chief. You feel me? Boss nigga. Right? Venus, Moon and Jayasta is about one's personal efforts. Um, personal efforts material enjoyment and success right so there's money and shit it's a coin it's represented by a coin or an earring shit like that now ruled by mercury mercury is the salesman he's the merchant venus is a planet of wealth enjoyment and material things you think i'm saying venus is in the ascendant so this individual's life the theme of his life is about money relating to people uh, making some type of profit off of things because a lot of his shit is in money house, second house, eleventh house, third house is the support of the second house. So you can't make no money without any, you know, without with no effort, you ain't making any money. <coughs> so boom, 
relationships, meeting people, talking to people, creating opportunities through interacting with others, you know, um, the management of money and shit like that. All those things is uh, like right there in his chart, all those Jayesta things. So, Moon and Jayesta is kind of disturbed on the inside and the outside environment kind of feels a bit impoverished as if it's lacking something. So this creates within the Jayesta native the fucking urge and drive to go get something because they always going to be operating, not necessarily from scarcity, but from the fact that like, nigga, all this shit can change. Like, nigga, I got to keep getting this shit because like this burning fire and they, I think they got, uh, see, Andrew was always eating and indulging, so they kind of got a strong digestion. Second Lord in the second house, he has a strong digestion, so he's able to even eat and shit. He can, he's looking for experience and things of that nature. Can you dig me? I want to say we done. I'm not going back. We going over things and shit. What can I say? <coughs> So, Moon and Scorpio, sometimes they might be a little uh, dissatisfied on the inside. However, his Moon is with the Lord of the Sun. So, therefore, he's having strength. He's having fullness in his mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And I kept Osho up there because he is Jayasta. Just like that little nigga's Jayasta. I don't know if he's going to have any siblings later in his life, but I know for sure he's the, he's the oldest out of his generation on that side like he's the oldest sibling out of his generation he is quite friendly but he does have the scorpio business going on where it's like you know kind of leave me alone though you feel me 